the art of surrender, not so much about giving up, but more about giving in gracefully. Hey, it's Lisa Roulette, and I'm here to help you heal and create a life you love. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you turn on your notifications to be notified every time I release a new video. For anyone watching, make sure you hit the description of the video below because there's lots of links to relevant content along with some freebies that you can use, especially if you're on a healing journey. This video is all about my favorite subject, the art of surrender, an extremely powerful tool. So we're going to talk about what it is, how to do it, and and what the benefits of it are. The art of surrender is a lot more about giving in gracefully than it is giving up. And it begins when we feel an uncomfortable emotion. Now, your emotions can be triggered by anything. It could be triggered by a memory, it could be triggered by an event, a situation, a circumstance. But the idea of surrender is just to allow those emotions to flow through you without taking any action or having any judgment. So oftentimes we are prone to react and take action right away on our emotions. So that might be for some people to pop a pill or to take a drink or even to lash out at someone. But in the art of surrender, we don't do that. What we're trying to do is we're trying to become the witness and the observer so that we can understand why we're having that emotion beyond the critical analysis of the ego. So when you have an emotion, you want to just allow it to flow through you and you want to take that high self witness observer position and begin to ask intelligent questions like, why do I feel this way? And when you begin to practice the art of surrender, there's going to be two voices. There's going to be the high self voice, which is probably pretty muted if you haven't practiced the art of surrender or if you've never done any healing work on your own. And the louder voice is going to be that ego. That ego is going to answer always from a place of blame and victim. Optimization. So we want to be very careful. Now, if you haven't watched my video on beliefs, you'll definitely want to check that out. And you can also check out my video on the ego, which I will link both in the description of this video below. So as you begin to practice the art of surrender, you can start with the question, why do I feel this way? And then I would encourage you to move on through a series of questions that you will innately form. Your high self has the right questions for you, but if you struggle a little bit, the next question might be, is this right for me or is this wrong for me? The power of discernment is a fundamental aspect of healing that we all need to allow ourselves. We know when something is wrong for us, if it's tugging on our energetic vibration or reduces the amount of light that we're capable of embodying. Keep in mind that we call it the art of surrender because it takes time to master, but I would highly encourage you not only to give yourself the permission to practice it, but also the time you need to actually master it. This tool is extremely powerful. So let's talk about the top three benefits of the art of surrender. Number one, self-awareness. Self-awareness is an extremely powerful tool because the more aware we can become of ourselves, the more we can give ourselves permission to change certain aspects of self and therefore aspects of life. Number two, it's an act of personal sovereignty. Using the power of discernment by asking ourselves, is this right for me or is this wrong for me? Keeping in mind that anything that tugs on our energetic vibration and siphons light away from us is not a good thing. We take supreme authority over our experience. Now, if you haven't watched my video on the art of manifestation, that's a definite must watch so that you can understand more about how your energetic vibration manifests as your reality. I'll link it in the description of this video below. Number three, it initiates the process of integration. Long-term healing is a lot about reconciling two opposites so that they become one, that they integrate into the whole. So let me give you a personal example because it'll help you understand a little bit better. When I lost my brother and my husband, two of the people that made me feel the most loved in this world, I fell into the hands of a narcissist. I also lost a whole slew of friends of 20 plus years. So all of a sudden, I found myself completely alone and with so much shame, remorse, regret, and grief, I felt completely unlovable to the point where I found myself on the bedroom floor of my closet with a gun pointed against my head. Scary story, right? But my healing was all about understanding why I had to experience all of those things. I had to know 
what it was like to feel completely unlovable to actually learn how to love myself. So I took the love from the external world that I received and all of the unlovability of myself from losing my friends and being abused by a narcissist into one whole of loving myself. Integration takes a little time, but if you keep plugging away at the art of surrender, it will definitely happen for you. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure you check out the links in the description of the video below and grab your freebies. Until next time, peace.